Our top story, both the prosecution and defense have now rested in the Lori Vallow Daybell trial. After calling a total of 60 different witnesses to the stand, the state rested its case today. The defense called zero witnesses and presented none of its own evidence, and today Lori Vallow declined to take the stand. Her attorney said they didn't think the state proved their case, so they simply rested. Today, Attorney General Investigator Nick Edwards was called to the stand. He was part of the investigation into Tammy Daybell's death. He says there were intimate messages between Chad and Lori on October 3rd and 4th. And on the 4th, Chad encouraged Tammy to go visit family in Utah. There were also 90 calls between Alex, Chad, Zalema, and Lori on October 9th and 10th. Tammy was shot at on the 9th and died 10 days later. Chad and Alex were communicating the night of the 9th during and right after the time that she was shot at. Alex also called Lori that night. Edwards is also a firearms expert and testified a Grendel AR gun could be mistaken for a paintball gun. And they found scopes for an AR in Lori's garage and Alex's account had done searches on that type of gun and scopes. The morning after Tammy died, there are several, several flirtatious and intimate messages between Chad and Lori about needing each other and wanting to be with each other. Closing arguments in the case are set to start Thursday morning, after which it will be sent to the jury for deliberation and a verdict. And another major development in the case today, Judge Stephen Boyce ruled that the verdict in Lori's case will be live streamed. It will be live streamed through the court and on Judge Boyce's YouTube channel. Requests from East Idaho News and another media outlet to have a pool camera for the verdict were denied. And this does not rescind Boyce's previous order banning cameras for the rest of the case.